I haven't put it up yet, all right. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering what that was. Because before I do, I'm going to talk a little bit about systems and how systems can affect thinking. See, what I've found is that in most organizations, there's three principal reasons why people don't think very well. They're not encouraged to think, they're not allowed to think, or they don't know how to think better. Not encouraged, not allowed, or they don't know how. And systems can have a big effect. Bad systems can actually prevent people from thinking. Good systems can encourage people to think. Now, the relationship here is what I found is when I first started using my brain breaks, if I just put it up, invariably, somebody in the audience would call out the answer right away. Either because they were really good at it, or more likely because they'd seen it before. And then what happened was the rest of the people in the audience looked and said, oh yeah, oh, I get it, okay. But they don't do any thinking. You know, it's like having somebody else do your exercises for you. It's nice, but you don't get any of the benefit. So here's my system for the brain breaks. We'll do a timeout for thinking. T for timeout and T for thinking, meaning when I put it up here, I'll do this. Don't call the answer out until I ask for it. All right? So everybody ready for this? Okay, timeout for thinking. Here it is. What is this? Now, when you get it, you can just kind of nod your head or raise your hand so I, I know, I have some idea. Okay. A few more people. Yeah, a few more seconds. All right, so what is this? Scrambled day. Scrambled day. Right? So why is this a brain teaser? See, when we see collections of letters in a row, we expect them to spell a word. And when we see three lines of letters, we expect them to be a sentence or bullet points or something like that. So we make this assumption and we expect something. And we don't expect the position of the letters to have a meaning. All right. This one actually works best for people who have scrambled brains. <laughs> so before I go further, let's look at what at, was at your seat. First of all, there's a handout, which has a lot of blanks on it. That's another technique to get you to do some thinking. Because if you fill in the boxes as we go along, that means the information has gone from your eyes or your ears, through your brain, to your hand. So you have to think about it at least once. Another thing that was on your seat, there's a little half-page handout that says, how can we help? If you're looking for more information afterwards, you can fill that out and leave that behind. And then the other thing, 